this is the energy vibration reading for the sun moon and rising um liberals i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back it is a um month of a fire and you guys are air sign first two weeks of the month it's going to be very good for you guys okay but um let's see what is going to transpire um the um uh supporting energy for this month is going to be the chariot and the energy of the chariot is going to be um movements and success over obstacles and that sort of a thing so each and every person will have a uh, different um sort of energy from the wheel of fortune and the chariot energies you guys <clears throat> receive the energy of the air event the energy of the air event okay so the energy of the air event for you guys it's going to be something that has to do with karmatic situation with groups of people and um, karmatic situation some people will be um, going over obstacles the end of the uh, end of obstacles um, success after a very very um, moolic time and a hard time in your life success and um, obstacles moving out of your way okay so this is going to be a month of a lot of changes this month has four weeks which is um, a very wonderful to just have four weeks in a month um, and um, in um, with the energy the zodiac energies you have uh, the air for the two first week and the two last week you have the energy of water okay the hair and water so okay <clears throat> let's see what is happening for you guys um, <clears throat> in the first week there is the energy of the tower and with the energy of the tower and the fool this is wonderful 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 you're going on a new journey a good new start a new beginning a wonderful positive energies good supporting energies um, unbelievable support that will be coming in and moving you on this new journey so this is going to be wonderful um, the energy because the, the general energy is the energy of the tower and you have a new journey so um, with the organization um, because it's a karmatic situation whatever is transpiring in this month is a karmatic situation for, for a lot of people you guys have the energy of an organization and whatever that was there in the tower broke down and now the energy of the fool is coming out and it is a positive new journey that you're going on in the first week in the second week wonderful energies again your own energy vibration comes up in the second week because in the second week there is the energy of the star and the energy of the star so the second week for you guys is going to be your best best week because the energy of the star and justice which is your own energy vibration this is just going to be a fabulous 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 week for you guys and this is just going to be good so you know you liberals um this is wonderful this is really really a wonderful energy so, um, with a star in a week a week of the star with the energy of justice your own energy vibration so um and let's move forward wow and a lot of arcanas for you guys the arcanas come in to work um with you guys the major arcana okay um what we have in here in um the um third week you have the ten of swords in reverse the ten of swords in reverse so another good week because the energies um, the negative energies are now in reverse the third week has the energy of the moon and with the energy of the moon you're psychic and all of this it's as if your spirit guides is to help you because the energy of the tower came down and now you have the energy of the ten of swords in the reverse form and remember remember not everyone will have it 
in the reverse form because it depends on who you are and what you have been doing because it's a karmatic wheel it's a month of the wheel of fortune so what is going to happen is just expect the unexpected because if you have been giving out these ten of swords you're going to be receiving them back okay for the people who have gone through the situation the wheel of karma will be bringing you a lot of luck so your last and final week let's look and see what we have for your last and final week we have the Sun of Pentacles last and final week we have the Sun of Pentacles so whatever the situation was whatever that was transpiring um, the energy of the Sun with the Sun of Pentacles <laughs> yeah because the general energy is to go back and look at the general readings the energies of the Sun with the with the son of Pentacles it is such <clears throat> such such a wonderful thing which um, you're going to be seeing changes with your financial situations for you liberals okay so that's wonderful okay I am so sorry I should say um, thank you <laughs> for your um, support and uh, um, thank you for the general support that is happening I'm so grateful um, um, for the support for you liberals um, please like and share these videos and remember to listen to your Sun and Moon rising sign but I, ju I just wanted to get, get in the read on so okay ladies and gentlemen let's look and see what is happening between uh, the fir the first week and the second week you have the energies of going on a new journey and a victory and this is um, you're leaving a situation um, that has to deal with someone who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius okay you have overcome a situation um, the energy of the tower at um, come up and clear the energy vibration of what was transpiring and now you have victory you have justified something and this has to do with um, someone who is an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius okay so you're leaving whatever that situation was behind you're moving forward because you have a one um, a lawsuit of uh, um, you have won something that has uh, the balancing of whatever uh, that was going on because this lady um, whoever she was was not uh, being very um, honest about certain things and the truth came out okay whenever the tower comes out in a week or a reading in a month that means uh, the truth is going to come out okay let's move forward and see what is happening between justice and the ten of swords and obviously um, that is going to be um, positive because with the energy and of justice and the ten of swords you have the energy of the five of swords whatever that was stolen will be returned whatever that was stolen will be returned because justice there is whatever injustice whoever this person was this lady this lady was an Aries Leo or Sagittarius she lied and um, she did something that was injustice and here it is that it's found out and been returned okay as we move forward and we're looking at the third week and the fourth week to see what is going to be transpiring we have the four of Pentacles and this is good we have the four of Pentacles and this is wonderful because um, whatever lies and whatever that was stolen the Sun of Pentacles is going to bring balance so the last week some people will have a situation with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and this person who is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn is going to help you to bring stability to your financial world okay so um, in the um, third and fourth week uh, 
um, there is someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and this person could be your son for some of you out there or this person could be someone who um, will come in because the energy of the Sun so it's as if this person is really going to um, come in and help you out and um, going to bring you um, financial stability in your world okay so this is good because whatever has transpired last year last month between yourself and your son is as if he's coming back now and going to help you to balance balance out your financial situations okay there's a lot of sword energies so with a lot of stuff that is being cleared up and this is going to be good okay as we move forward and we are going to look and see what was the situation what did this um, um, lady took or what happened what did this lady do um, this lady who is and who has the energy vibration of the Aries Leo or Sagittarius so so for some people it's going to be an Aries person for some people it's going to be a Leo person for some people it's going to be a Sagittarius so we're going to look and see what has transpired what have this lady done and what has she taken and you have the energy of the five of cups because there is a sadness because this lady is as if she left you um, behind. It's as if you have regrets about something that you did, or you have regrets because the Five of Cups is regrets because there is a situation with justice and this lady. So um, it could be that this lady found out something that transpired and justice came in. And and you are having regrets that you did it um, because you're having regrets. So, for some people, it is you're having regrets about this lady that um, she has left you and move on a new beginning um, because it is um, you know a new start um, above you with the energy of justice and. It can be that this lady found out something and she moved on without you and you are having regrets for some people is that you have done something and someone found out about it and justice came it's as if the person bring their own justice because the month is the wheel of fortune with an organization so a wheel of fortune we don't um, working together with our organization is that there, whatever the karmatic situation that you have with people that you had to deal with in an organization there is someone in the organization or some a woman who um you know left and walked away and you're having some regrets about this for some people it could be that uh, um whatever injustice and equality whatever that was unbalanced and whatever that was stolen from you is now you had a regrets over it because there is justice um, and it's as if you have not um, it's, it's, this justice is showing for some and, and it's coming out that some of you did not uh, receive whatever you were supposed to receive because it's as if justice came in and said no because what you did was actually not right you know and 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 and, 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 and that sort of a thing and you are having um, some regrets okay let's look and see the seven of swords and the four of pentacles the ten of one so you have a lot of burdens to carry and it's as if these burdens were didn't have to be there because you created these burdens yourself because what has happened and what has transpired is that there was someone this woman could have been helping you and you have done something and this woman realized what you have done and um, it's as if now you're having a regrets because I'm seeing justice 
and the regrets underneath it so obviously um, you have found out some of the you know you have done uh, something has transpired something has transpired between you and this lady who is an um, Aries Leo or a Sagittarius and she walks away and just this um, um, you know it's as if um, justice and, and, and this is it because it's as if this person was helping you or this person came in your life and because of something um, that you did she just walked away turn her back and move away it doesn't have to be it can also be a man okay so the ten of swords falling out of your you know it is an, an, an situation where mm, you try to get away with something and it didn't work okay because the ten you try to go to get away with something but it didn't work because um the um yeah it's regrets and and then you have the burden yeah okay let's see what else is going on now you're seeing something for the truth of it now you're seeing something for the truth of it okay now you're seeing the truth of the situation <clears throat> now you are seeing the truth of a situation mm -hmm. now you're seeing the truth of a situation oh my gosh okay Mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of sad sometimes we're leaded by our egos sometimes we listen to our egos and we listen to other people and we think and that's the biggest 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 mistake that um, liberals can do is that your ego seems to be taken over all the time your ego has a sense of taking over and this is a situation that um, you use your width and ego and this has landed you in something that you have caused on yourself and this is how liberals are your wit and your ego as bring you in a situation as this because what is happening is that a new beginning has happened um, there was someone a new beginning there was someone who is a Leo is um, 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 a, a Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius and this person has a new beginning and you're having regrets over this but you're finally seeing the truth of a situation okay and by seeing the truth of a situation you have this burden but your financial situation and um, the energy of uh, um, one of your your kids are going to come in or someone who is an an an, an Taurus, someone who is an um, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn is going to come in and help you. But this is someone who is younger than you are. And help you to balance out your financial situation yeah your central point of the reading is the seven of swords in reverse so whatever that has um, transpired because it's as if you try to get away with something but it didn't happen mm -hmm. yeah 
but not to worry. Not to worry. Um, um, it's, you know, this is just a lesson to help you guys understand that sometimes it's better to um, be humble. You know, don't try to, because sometimes, you know, some people were placed in your life for a reason. And as I look at this reading, is that it's as if someone just, you know, out of no way came in your life. And the person is actually a very good person, but you're so witty about other things and you're thinking, you know, and you're using that and 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 you know and I always think and I always say if someone and, and and you know if someone enter my life it's for a reason and they have entered my life for a reason so I always cherish them and if they're they're kind to me I be kind to them even when they're not kind to me I still be kind to them because that's my characteristic um, sometimes uh, my mom always said you're not Mother Mary um, but um, you know that's my characteristic so um, what I'm seeing here is that you know you made a miscalculation you really made a miscalculation of someone and it's coming back to bite you because you're having regrets over this so Archangel Uriel um, you really need this because as I see your reading it's as if you have lost um, your whole um, you have lost your own your whole emotional stability your energy you know you have lost that and um, yeah you know you need to revitalize yourself so call upon Archangel Uriel and ask him to touch open and activate your solar plex chakra and ask him to place the yellow ray to flow to you and surround you okay you're going to need this in this month okay it's Archangel Uriel so call upon Archangel Uriel and ask him to help you out in this month I love this energy oh your energy vibration numbers you can write them down your energy vibration number is going to be the number 10 your energy vibration the number is going to be the number 10 okay the number 10 okay so let's see what is going to be your activation guide for this month <laughs> oh my gosh okay you saw this you saw this I pick everything on camera Archangel Uriel Archangel Uriel solar plex chakra solar plex chakra obviously this reading is calling to heal your solar plex chakra you have Archangel Uriel that came up in this and you have the solar plex chakra that came up and it says the frequency of the solar plex chakra the yellow flower of life supports our sense of self our personal power and our willpower as well as our knowing of who we are and what are the combinations is to the Old. so this is wonderful look at it it's so beautiful so um, really zoom in on this solar plex chakra both of them because they're going to help you to accelerate and activate your solar plex chakra okay so this is wonderful I did it on camera <laughs> I did it on camera so um this is <laughs> unbelievable someone asked me about a, a live reading a session on YouTube and I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that but I, I just need to find the time people 
okay I'm calling up on the unicorns to show the liberance what is going to be the message for February honesty honesty will ultimately be um, rewarded honesty will ultimately be rewarded honesty will ultimately be rewarded so this is a wonderful wonderful um, honesty will ultimately be rewarded so this is a wonderful this is absolutely wonderful this is so good it is positive it is good so a wonderful energies for you guys I am really really loving um, this month for you guys at the end of the day it's gonna be positive um, a lot of changes but these are good changes new changes wonderful support wonderful energies that are coming in so it's going to be um, very good okay so whatever that is going on whatever that has transpired whatever that um, happened you are going to um, see positive good wonderful energies coming in ladies and gentlemen the center of your reading is you know whatever that you try to get away with um, you know please people you, you know we need to change our energy vibration and I love you guys so much and you know the more that you listen to the ego and try to do these things from an egoistic aspect the, the worse it's going to be because it's going to actually affect you in the long run okay so remember to work with your solar plex chakras and, and I'm saying and I'm wishing you guys a wonderful wonderful um, month until next week